Jimmy Garoppolo, who is still on the team, so I'm, we're allowed to talk about him. Uh, he's back. And the question is, who is this an indictment of? Is it an indictment of Trey? Is it an indictment of Nate Sudfeld, Brock Purdy, Ryan? Who is Jimmy Garoppolo's return as a backup quarterback? Who's that the biggest indictment of? Uh, you know, I actually watched uh, Stephen A. the other day, and I'm going to have to agree with him. It's, it's an indictment on Jimmy G., right? He went from being a starter. The, the Niners made it well known that they're accepting trades for Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, you, talking about the quarterback who is, what, 31 and 14 or something like that. It's, his winning percentage is really high. Fans tout him as a, a winner. Mm -hmm. um, he brought the team to the Super Bowl, brought the team to the NFC uh, West Championship, but now he's a backup quarterback in San Francisco. So to me, it's an indictment on Jimmy Garoppolo. He, he's not a starter. He's a backup. Now, of course, anything's possible. Maybe he'll make his way back as a starter eventually. Um, but honestly, his, yeah, yeah, his stock is going down. This is this is not a good look if you are uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. And to be honest, Grant, like I, I, I've been thinking, like, why? Why did he do it? Like, what's the reason? Like, my pride, my ego is probably too big a, as a fault. I understand that. And that's good that his isn't like that. But this team didn't want you. They traded three first round draft picks to draft Trey Lance. And you chose to stick around. You didn't have to. Right. Um, so, it, you know, it's just a lot of questions. I wonder why he did it. But if anything, it's not an indictment on Trey Lance. Um, they replaced Jimmy Garoppolo with Nate Sudfeld, or they replaced Nate Sudfeld with Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, that's who Jimmy Garoppolo is replacing, not Trey Lance. I think it's a huge indictment of Jimmy Garoppolo. And the indictment is the league doesn't look at him as a starting quarterback anymore. Because, look, I mean, frankly, he took a huge pay cut, $6.5 million base salary. That's backup money. And so when there was no trade market for him this offseason, people that like Jimmy Garoppolo were like, well, that's just because he's injured. Or it's just because he's really expensive. Well, he's healthy right now, and he's not expensive. He's extremely cheap for a starting quarterback if he were a starting quarterback. Theoretically, if a team out there needed a starter and viewed him as a starter, they'd be like, oh, my God, $6.5 million? We can get him right? That's What a great deal that is. But that's not happening. And, yeah, he has a no-trade clause, but the Niners could buy that out if there was a team that wanted him and Jimmy wanted to play for. You think Jimmy wouldn't want an extra couple million dollars and an opportunity to play? He's like, no, nah, I just want to back up Trey. I don't even want to. So that's that's not an issue. The indictment is the whole league's like, no, we're not. So why? Why is it? I, it's, I mean, we've talked about it forever. Uh, it's his limited skill set. It's that he has no upside. It's that he's getting worse. But, but – what is the thing we learned this offseason about him? That he ghosts his team in the offseason. And there's been some evidence, but look at what happened this offseason. John Lynch explained it. He was in discussions with teams about trading Jimmy. He thought Jimmy didn't need surgery. The Niners um, uh, doctor said Jimmy didn't need surgery. Jimmy had surgery anyway, anyway and didn't tell the Niners about it. The Niners were surprised. So from what it sounds like, John felt stupid like oh my god these teams i'm trying to trade you you don't even tell me that you're having surgery and these teams call me up like what the hell john you didn't tell me we were we were having discussions for weeks and you didn't tell me jimmy was gonna have surgery what the hell and and he's like well i didn't know and they're like you didn't know you don't talk to jimmy and he's like well yeah it's the kind of thing like jimmy kind of doesn't talk to us in the off season they're like you're gonna trade someone that doesn't talk to i think that's a big deal he doesn't communicate with his team you can't have a starting quarterback who doesn't communicate with you and just has surgery and is like, oh, by the way, I'm out this year. You can't have that. That's He says the right thing in front of cameras and stuff, but that is unprofessional. If you're going to have the surgery, tell them. Pick up a phone and tell your team. I think yeah, that's a big deal. From what they said, that he he had he did have other opportunities where he could have, if they would have you know released him, where he could have went. He could have told the 49ers, no, I don't want to take a pay cut and they would have released him and he had other opportunities, but he obviously chose to be a backup on the 49ers over those other opportunities. So those other opportunities must've been backup jobs on not as good teams. Right. I don't think he would choose to, uh, you know, pass up a starting opportunity and a starting salary to be a backup for the 49ers. So the league, you know, the league has spoken to what they think Jimmy G is. And I know a lot of 49er fan loves him or loves him. You know, uh, that's great. 
I, you know, and I wasn't a big fan of Jimmy Garoppolo, to be honest, at $25 million or 27 whatever it was, as a starter. But as a backup, I think it's great to have him on the 49ers. But I think it's time that people understand that the, how the league looks at him. They don't look at him like a starter and caliber quarterback anymore. Yeah, I think some Niner fans are kind of hoping that there's a future where a quarterback gets hurt and a team gets desperate and trades the Niners like a second round pick for Jimmy Garoppolo to be their starter. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think any team is going to trade a second round pick for half a year of Jimmy Garoppolo. And then next year, I think what other people are thinking is, well, okay, if Jimmy's here and, you know, he signs somewhere next year for like, and becomes a starter, gets a starting contract next year, then the Niners get a third round comp pick. I don't think he's going to be a starter anymore. I don't think any team, if he's, if he had to take this pay cut now when he's healthy, I don't think any teams look at him next year like, okay, we'll sign him next year. We'll give him $18 million next year because that's what the, he'd have to get for the Niners to get a comp pick. I think most likely next year there's going to be three to five vets who are available either by trade or free agency plus the three to five first-round picks. And he's just going to be on the outside looking in again, and he can either be someone's backup or he can retire. That's what I, I think. I, I could see Jimmy Garoppolo being the 49ers backup quarterback for – Long term. For long term. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it happening. He likes it here. He's Jimmy to me is he's just very comfortable here. Uh, you know, he has his friends on the team, you know, and I'm not so sure. I mean, why would you like I, I've asked that question again. Let me ask you if you're if you pretend you're Jimmy Garoppolo, Grant, why would you return to the 49ers who didn't want you, were trying to trade you, replace you with a rookie? You know, I'll tell you why. Would, yeah. Because they made the best offer. They made the best offer. I'm sure he was thinking I could get cut. I could ask for my release, but is there another team that would offer me six and a half million plus incentives up to 18? Maybe not. Because, yeah. I mean, what the value he has to the Niners is his win percentage and the fact that they're afraid of the unknown with Trey. He's not, no other team's going to be like, well, we bring in Jimmy. We're going to win, you know, two thirds of our games. Like, no, no one feels that way about Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. So I think, I think most of the league knows. You know, what you and I know and what other people know is that uh, Kyle Shanahan did a really good job at catering towards Jimmy G's strengths, and he probably wouldn't look as good in another offense. Maybe if he went to Miami or something like that. Yeah. Um, there's not many opportunities where Jimmy Garoppolo is going to look as good as he did when he played for the 49ers. It's funny. Um, before we end with this, uh, Tom Brady has had a lot of backups in his 20-year career who've had opportunities to leave and become starters. And Jimmy's probably the most successful of them, but he's going to have the same fate as all the other ones, which is you had a chance to start. Yeah, it went well, maybe for a little while. And then you ended up being a career backup. Matt Castle comes to mind. He's going to have the Matt Castle end to his career. I know a lot of people disagree with me and think he's going to have this retribution. And I don't think so. I think he's going to be a career backup if he wants to be. The only question is, does he want to be so much money? He doesn't have to be. But that's, I think, his option at this point. I'm sorry, what team next year is going to be like, nah, forget drafting a quarterback in round one. Let's sign Jimmy mm -hmm. coming off a year where he didn't play and no one wanted. Like, that's not going to happen. I can see him being a backup quarterback for Trey Lance in the 49ers for a long time because I yeah. think he's probably comfortable in that role. You know, like the demand in the offseason is not going to be as high as what Trey Lance is. He can get by with his yep. uh, disappearing act yeah. as a backup. He can chill on the sideline, make several million dollars, yep. you know. It's a good gig. The backup quarterback position in the NFL is probably the best job in, in the country, right? It's a good job. Um, so I could see it. I could see him being here for a long time. I, I can't. Now that you bring it up, like he's always going to be worth more to the Niners than any other team. The idea that some other team is looking at Jimmy and valuing him more than the Niners, like, I, I never understood that. How? Why? What team is thinking the Niners misused Jimmy? They did everything they could for him. Everything. The defense, the run game, everything. I mean, I think teams are like, eh, if they don't want him, why would we want him? If Kyle Shanahan doesn't want him, and we respect Kyle, wow. Well, <laughs> so, yeah, he's going to have to – this is very interesting. He could be with the Niners for a very long time as a backup. And I'm and, cool with that, man. I'm cool with yeah. Jimmy G as a backup. I like it. It seems like Trey's cool with it, and Jimmy might be cool with it too. He talks like he wants to be a starter, but if that's not an option – I mean, of course, you. I, I want to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. Everyone wants to be – but right. if that's not an option, it seems like he's cool with this. I mean – so He's whatever. cool with it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. The way my pride is set up, I would have been gone, you know. So that right there tells you that 
He's like, all right, 